I've caught some new and incredible pals so far and I hope you're all enjoying Pal World. So in this video I'm going to show you how to level up your Pal Box. Whilst playing I got stuck along the way and I know for sure some of you are also going to get stuck and lost. So this video is going to show you where to get certain items that are required for levelling your Pal Box. Be sure to subscribe for your daily dose of Pal World content. I massively appreciate all of you who have recently subscribed and we're nearing 60,000 subscribers. That's crazy. So as you can see here, I've just hit max level on my base. So this is your power box. The maximum level is 20 and I've just hit it and it took a lot of materials and a lot of time, but I'm gonna show you how. So one of the first early requirements is wheat seeds because you need to build a wheat field. Now you get these from Bristler. You can find Bristler in this location. She's pretty abundant in this area. So I'm here now and I can see three, four, five actually. Actually, no, I think there's six. There's one off in the distance. So just go around and kill or capture a couple of these bristler and that should give you more than enough wheat seeds and lettuce seeds for your base. Lovely jubbly. So one of the next requirements is tomato seeds which you need to build a tomato plantation and you can get it from this guy which can be found here. A little bit rarer to get but not too hard to come across. Very easy and not too difficult to kill or capture. What I'd recommend is bringing some giga balls of you if you've got them available because the normal pal spheres and mega pal spheres are not that effective on these guys. So what you want to do is go around and kill or capture a couple of these and you'll get your tomato seeds. Now the tomato seeds are a little bit rarer, they don't always drop, so you're just going to have to get your grind on. Now I do recommend capturing these guys because they're very good mid game pals to have. They're very good in your base and they're very good in your team and you can also equip them with some really good weapons for battle. There we go, so I've got some tomato seeds. Let's see if this one drops any. Oh, nearly killed him there. Ow, you little bugger. Ow! Come on. Yeah, I think I got him. Ah, no tomato seeds. So yeah, get your grind on. Now I just had to take a minute to just have a look around the map. I've barely explored the map. I think I've maybe explored half of it. It's huge, but look how incredible this place is. There's the tree. We're getting very close to it now. Now another material that you're going to need quite early on into the game is bone. Now bone is used for a lot of things in this game. It's used for late game items, late game gear, even your late game spheres, but it's also used early game as well. Now you can get bone from certain pals like Van Worm and even these guys, Cornito. The easiest way to farm bone is going into any desert biome because most of the pals in these biomes drop bone. However, these biomes are very dangerous and for a start you need to have heat resistant gear. So make sure you've got heat resistant gear before you do anything and level up a bit. Now, having said that, you can actually get bone from dungeons, even the early game dungeons. So some of the pals drop it. You can also get it from loot boxes like the chests. So like I said in previous videos, if you ever come across a dungeon, make sure to do it because it's highly worth it. So this dungeon that I'm doing here is right next to the volcano. Now this was a hard dungeon, but it was worth it because I got so much bone from this run. So yeah, very good run. It's also worth mentioning that these late game dungeons also drop these. It's an innovative technical manual and it gives you technology points. So again, doing dungeons, if you come across one, do them, it's worth it. So just north of the map in this snow biome, which again is another dangerous biome, so make sure you've got cold resistant gear and some decent pals with you, is really good for coal and pure quartz. So make sure you farm this on the daily, but also, like I said, make sure you've got some cold resistant gear and some decent level pals with you. However, do not stay past night time because once night time hits, you're going to freeze to death and your health will drop so fast. But yeah, very good spot. Now I'm going to show you a spot where I found a lot of quartz. So once I get this coal out of the way, I'll take you to this secret spot that I found. And I think there's around six or seven nodes of pure quartz there. There's normally six nodes here, but we got five and you can get a lot of quartz here. But as you can see, the time it is getting to nighttime now. So I need to get out of here before I freeze to death. But this is where it is. So make sure you farm it on the daily and make sure you've got enough space. So I've mentioned this spot before. It's right by the desolate church. It has got loads of ore nodes. I think there's around nine and this respawns on the daily. So again, make sure you get back here and get farming. So I've put a power box here because I'm going to turn this into a mining base because this is just going to be really good for automation. 
And on a good run, you just get so much ore, which is good for your refined ore as well as normal ore ingots. So yeah, make sure you do this on the daily. Now last on the list is polymer. So firstly, you need a production line. This is a late game one, as you can tell, it's like pretty robotic now. But you need high quality power oil to refine it into polymer. Now you get high quality power oil from most dungeons, all the bosses, and the big powers that roam the world, so like your mamma rests and stuff like that. So just make sure you farm the big powers and the bosses and you'll get tons of this stuff. So with all that said and done, that should help you get your base to max level. Now there's gonna be stuff along the way that you're gonna to need to make, but it will explain it a lot better. The only thing that I struggled with was certain items like the tomato seeds. I had no idea where to go and find them. So hopefully this video has been valuable and helpful to you guys that are stuck at the lower levels. Be sure to subscribe for your daily dose of Power World content. I massively appreciate you guys that have subscribed recently. Like I said, we're nearing 60,000 subscribers. That is a crazy number. I didn't think we'd get this far. And I hope you're all enjoying the game so far. I'm loving Power World. I think the only thing it needs is like a Pokemon Coliseum type of game mode where you can go against other people's pals. You just chuck them into like a battle ring and let them battle it out. That would be amazing for PvP. So hurry up and add it, Pocket Pair. Now I do have a Discord server so make sure you join because I've got a Power World section on my server and also don't forget to like and share this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.